Yep, talk about bandits taking up residence, all right. Oh, and a bandit mage. Oof, yep. Bandit mage. Probably gonna miss with that. No, I hit him! Oh, that's good! Oh, I'm a little proud of that. I wouldn't go so far as to call it a trick shot, but... I'm happy with it. Oh, down he goes. Down he goes. Almost dead. Alright, was that everyone? I believe so. Oh, and they even added, you know, little onyx in the center. Look at that. It's a nice touch. It's the little things like that. Alright, and back to Godras. Oh, did one of the bandits... Yeah, he just slipped under the boat. Oh, that's great. Did you need something? I found your amulet. You did? That's great news. Here, take the juniper berry mixture. You earned it. Alright, I think that's the last thing I need, too. Oh, no, I need to bring the mud crab chitin back, but then I'll be good to go. Now, I also needed to go to, I want to say the inn here. Yeah, the innkeeper in Lundin to establish a trade deal. Well, we're already here, so let's set that up. We can head back to Florin, hand in the mud crab chitin, and we should be good to go. Welcome to the Cross Swords Inn. If you need anything, let me know. A trade deal, my dear. Greetings, friend. Whatever you need, just ask. Dalis wants to set up a partnership agreement with you. Oh, does he now? Yes, I suppose that could work out quite nicely. So, you'll do it? Well, first, I need you to get me 20 skeevers alive. Well, yes. But before I do, I was wondering if you would help me out a bit first. It's just a small favor. Of course. I don't like where this is going. Oh, don't worry. It won't take you too long. Since I'm going to be expanding with Dayless, I'd like to expand even further. Amring has this special recipe for spiced venison that drives everyone crazy. I don't suppose you could get the recipe from him, could you? He's going to have a favor. You can tell him I'll credit him for it. So hopefully he can get some more customers. Oh. I guess I don't have much of a choice. I like how even my dialogue, like my character, I'm just at <laughs> the end of my wits. I'm just sitting here going, more favors? <laughs> That's a spirit. You'll find Amring over in Alverton. He's the food vendor. I'll be here when you have the recipe. Of course you will. Okay. At least it's a small island, so hopping from one place to the other place, to the one city to the other city, is not that bad in the end. Alright. Back to Florin. To turn in the chitin. Then to... Alverton. To... Do a bunch of things. <laughs> uh, here and here and here and there and there and there. Yes, Dovaki. Here oh, and back again. A Dragonborn story. Hmm? I have your chitin. Ah, and as promised, here is the purified salt pile. Thank you, my friend. Beautiful. And finally, that's all the ingredients. We can bring the ingredients to Dalis. He doesn't have his trade deal yet, but that's a separate quest anyway. And now back to Alverton, like I said, hopping all over all day long. Because here is Dalis. Let me get the... Let me see if I can get the recipe first. He's probably going to have a favor for me too, and it's going to be a whole thing. Which I've already done a favor for him, so if he asks for another favor, I'm going to punch him in the face. Need something? So listen, Lytho would like your spiced venison recipe. Of course you would, but what do I get out of this? I don't punch you in the face. 
She said she would credit it to you, so that you might get some more customers. Well, I guess that would work. Before I go ahead giving away my most prized recipe, I need something from you first. Let me guess. A small favor. Yes, actually, but don't worry, it won't take long. You all keep saying that. Everyone keeps saying that, and you know what? They all take... Not that long, you're right. Okay, sure. I need you to go and get something of mine from Neron, the food vendor over in Florin. I recently lost my bow on a hunt, and I heard he found it. You bring me back my bow, I give you my recipe. Deal? Fine, deal, but this better not result in another small favor from Neron. Excellent. Don't delay, my friend. I don't have much business without my bow. Oh god, your dog's pushing me. Akatosh, you're very needy. I get it. I'm the Dragonborn, you're Akatosh, but still, just... Shh, calm down. Well, his shop's gonna be closed anyway, so back to Florin, get the bow. If he demands payment, I'm gonna say no. That is not his bow. He found it. It is a lost bow. Give it back to its rightful owner. No, it's technically not stealing, but if it resorts to it, I'm going to have to steal it from him to bring it back, and I really don't mind if I have to steal a stolen bow back to its rightful owner. Oh, wait. Catch him before he goes inside. Catch him before he goes into his place and locks up for the night. You're not from around here, are you? Can I ask you something? <laughs> sure, what is it? Well, do you know Ned Hill? He's a beggar, down on his luck. I don't suppose you've seen him around much, have you? No, can't say that I have. See, that's the problem. By all rights, he should be spending his time begging and trying to scrape a living. But he's not. I hear he's spending almost all of his time and money he gets on mead in the inn. I'm worried about him. I don't suppose you'd speak to Arnian, the innkeeper, for me, would you? I'd like to know how much time he actually spends there. Can this be your favor? Hmm? Great. Thank you. Yeah. Hmm? Hey, do you have Amring's bow? Is it the bow on your back right there? Ah, yes I have. I thought he might send someone to come get it eventually. He can't do much without his bow. Could I have it then? Of course. But first, whilst you're here, could you help me out with something? Oh, not again. I'm sorry, I don't understand what you're trying to imply. Oh, it's a thing, don't worry. You want me to help you with a small favor that won't take much of my time. And he says, well, now that you mention it, that sounds like a great idea. I was just going to ask for a kiss. Precisely. Although, I get the feeling you've done this before. You have no idea. I've tracked across Midwood Isle chasing this damned potion. Potion? Actually, I won't ask. Don't worry, you don't need to go far for this one. I just want permission from King Loken to be able to hunt in all three districts. It can get ever so boring hunting in the same parts for years. Fine, I'll go do it for you, but afterwards I'll need that bow. Absolutely. Speak to King Loken, and I'll hand over the bow. I swear this king better not have another one of these wretched tasks. Sorry, what was that? Nothing monologuing. Nothing, I'll go speak to King Loken. Okay, friend. I'll be here when you get back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. King, then beggar. Well, king, then bow, then beggar. Boom. I've got my whole order. I've got my whole schedule figured out. I'm gonna wake the king up and be like, Hey, king, can I get permission? He's gonna say, yeah, sure, whatever. If the king has a favor, you know what? That's different. The king is allowed to ask for a favor. Don't even think about making a if move you need on anything, the king or queen. Please, talk to Siphon. He will be able to help you with whatever you need. Neron wants your permission to hunt in all three districts. Does he? Huh. I'm surprised he hasn't asked me himself. He's a coward. Well, it seems everyone on Midwood Isle has me running around to do their errands. Oh dear. Well, I won't waste any more of your time. Tell Niron he is free to hunt wherever he likes. That's it? You're sure? Of course. Nyrun practically feeds the whole town. It's the least I can do. So you don't need me to run off somewhere to fetch something from someone? I'm afraid not. I give Nyrun my permission. No strings attached. 
No more small favors? You don't need me to do anything? Well, I suppose I could think of something, if you insist. No, 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 it's, it's fine. I don't want or need any more tasks from anyone. Well, if you insist. A shame. I was just thinking of a few odd jobs that need doing. Well, you know, I could do those later for you, for a commission, but not just as a favor. Don't even think about it, my liege. <laughs> Don't worry. I have advisors and guards for such a reason. They can do it. I get the feeling you've had quite the adventure. I will say that it is a little informal for me to speak to a king that way of like, Don't you think about it. But I guess he respects me, so maybe that's why. I wouldn't call it an adventure, but yes. Well then, don't let me keep you. Give my regards to Nyrun, would you? This is why you're the king. You are a fair, just, and kind leader. If you need anything, please talk to Siphon. He will be able to help you. You're a good king. You if you weren't married already, I would kiss you right now. Also, if you were a woman. Mainly the woman part. Eh, you know what? He's cute. I'll still kiss him. Alright. Oh, is he locked up in his shop for the night? He is. Okay. Uh, I'll just wait till morning. Nope. Oh, hey, Tyrek. <laughs> Do you need something? King Loken says you're free to hunt wherever you wish. Excellent. And as promised, here's Amring's bow. Tell him to be more careful next time. Right? You know, this is what I was made for. Exploring caves, the wilderness, and killing stuff. Here's the thing, though. Won't letting him f hunt everywhere be an issue for Amring? Because they're competitors. They're competing against each other. Okay. Well, before we go anywhere, let's speak to the beggar. Welcome to the Dragon Meat Inn. If you need anything, just ask. Could use some information. Greetings, friend. How can I help? How often does Nettle come in here? Most of the day, every day. From what I can tell, he spends all of the money he has earned that day. As much as I like to make coin, I hate seeing Nethel like this. He's going to end up killing himself. Remember to come back. You're always welcome. Where is he? Hi. Is there a reason you're bothering me? Oh, just for that, I'm not giving you any gold. Screw it. Here I am, trying to help him out. He's like, eh, what do you want? It's like, alright, no gold for you. You were just gonna waste it anyway. What do you need? According to the innkeep, Nettle comes in every day and just drinks himself to death. Damn man. He will if he's not careful. We need to help him. If not, who knows what could happen. We should start by just trying to talk to him about it. Maybe if you can find out why he's drinking so much, you can persuade him to stop. Okay. Farewell. Is he gonna care? I if remember it's a when I was stranger? on the road with my mother. I haven't met him. He doesn't know me. Is he gonna care about what I have to say? Welcome to the Dragon Meat Inn. If you need anything, just ask. Do you like how much I'm running back and forth? <laughs> Just waiting for him to get comfortable. Get out of my way. Oh, screw you two. I need to talk to you about your drinking. What? I don't know you. It's none of your business. Get lost. I could get lost, or... Look, I'm here to help. People are worried about you. You need to stop. I don't know who you think you are, but you can't talk to me like that. It's none of your business, outsider. Now get lost. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. It's not my business. If anything, Neron should be coming with me and make it a full-on intervention. Have his friends sit down with him. You know, Neron. And probably no one else.
Hey. Any luck talking to Nedhel yet? Yeah, I tried talking to Nedhel, but he just got angry. So it didn't work? I'm not surprised. We need another approach. Perhaps try talking to Arnian, and persuade him to only let Nedhel in maybe once a week, so that he has to cut down. I don't know if that's gonna work. Safe travels. Couldn't he just buy mead from somewhere else? Like, just a, a merchant? Well, I don't know if the merchants would have any meat on stock. It's probably just the inn that has it, really. Welcome to the Dragon Meat Inn. If you need anything, <laughs> just ask. Uh, what if I could just get Nidhal to wait here while I do all this? Greetings, friend, and welcome to the Dragon Meat Inn. I need to talk to you about Nedel. Is this about him drinking again? I'd like to help, but I don't know how. Do you have any ideas? I have a terrible idea. Idea. Me and Neron agree that it'd be best for you to only admit Nedel once a week. He'll probably just get belligerent and drunk and... Well, he won't be drunk. He's just gonna get belligerent and angry and probably break stuff. Hmm. I guess that might cut him down a bit. But what's to stop him just spending everything he has still? Hmm. Ah, I know. I'll cut him off if he tries to buy too much. Hopefully this way, he'll be forced to stop. You don't cut people off? Could you do me a favor and go and tell him? I don't want to have to explain it to him whilst he's trying to get a drink. <laughs> sure, I can do that. Thank you. I'm not sure how he'll react, so if I were you, I would be cautious. He just pulls a knife on me. I just have to sucker punch him. Nadel? Oh, hey, there you are. Get lost. Screw you two. Well, just for that, I'm here to tell you that you're only allowed in the inn once a week, and you're gonna get cut off. What? You think you can boss me around? I can go in there as much as I want. That's not really how it works. Sorry, but it's for your own good. Oh, you bastard. I don't care what you have to say. I told you to back off once before, and you didn't listen. Looks like I'm gonna have to beat it out of you now. <laughs> you beat me? I'm wearing armor. Hey. You're wearing ah. nada. Damn you. <laughs> Damn you. I really wish there was a way to you block. Ah. This. Like, because, you know, unarmed is considered dual wielding, you, ah. you don't have any way to block just the vanilla, which... Seems kind of like an oversight when you think about it. Had enough? Ugh. That's what I thought. Ready to accept your new rules now? Or I'll just punch you again and again and again. Uh, I'll stay out of the inn. At least on the days I'm not allowed. Now leave me alone. You know, why don't we talk to him about helping him? Why don't we try to find ways to help him rather than just say, nah, you can't drink? Why don't we get to the root of why he's drinking? Hmm? Tyrek? I'm sorry, were you sleeping? Was I boring you? Welcome to the Dragon Meat Inn. If you need anything, just ask. Oh, can you step back to the counter, please? Sir? Please? Join me over here? No? Okay. I'm coming around. Welcome to the Dragon Mead Inn. Care for a drink, or perhaps a warm bed? No, but I have spoken to Nedel. And? How did he take it? Uh, he started a brawl with me, but I beat him. He should stick with our limits now. Ah, unfortunate that he didn't take it better, but well done for sorting it. Hmm. You know, despite what we've done, I'm not sure it'll be enough. Oh my god. Nedhel needs more than just a ban. He needs a replacement for what he drinks. That's what I've been saying! There was this recipe I inquired about from a Breton merchant a while back. It described the process of heating ale to remove the alcohol so they can still be enjoyed but without the side effects. Unfortunately, bandits raided the merchant and stole it before I could acquire it. I'm not sure what they would use it for. Right? If you could recover it for me, I can start making those drinks as replacement for Nedhel. 
See, this still isn't exactly what I wanted. I want to figure out why he's drinking. It's very possible there's not, like, a deeper reason and that he just wants to drink, but I would like to know that for sure. I can do that. Do you know where they might be? Great. Thank you, my friend. I believe they're holed up in an old watchtower near the coast of Lundin. Good luck. Okay. <laughs> Next time I head to Lundin, we'll do that. But for now... Let's just turn this in. Bring the bow to Amring, and that is the last piece of the puzzle. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so ready. Amring, did you need something? I've got your bow. Now can I have the recipe? Great. Here it is. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. Ha. Funny man. Funny, funny man. Alright, well... First, let's just bring the ingredients to him since I'm right here. Hi. Did you need something? I've got all the ingredients. Ah, well done! I hope it wasn't too difficult. You have helped me out hugely, friend. I will not forget it. Here, take this as a reward for all of your hard work. And let me teach you a thing or two about alchemy before you go. A unique potion. Done. Took long enough. Well, and now... <laughs> Now we can head back to London because we need to bring the recipe. We need to go to the watchtower. <laughs> Tyrek, what if I could like split off from you and you could do some of this for me? Wouldn't that just be the best? Welcome to the Cross Swords Inn. If you need anything, let me know. Yes. Why do innkeeps never want to come to the counter when I'm here? Oh, the Dragonborn's here? I better start sweeping. Greetings, friend. Whatever you need, just ask. Here's the recipe you wanted. Thank you, my friend. With this, I'll be able to sell the famous spiced venison to Lundin. And as I promised, here's the partnership agreement. All right, and bring that to Dalis. At long last, we can get the potion of blacksmithing, of smithing, of whatever it's called, to the blacksmith back in Florin. But since we're already in the area, let's go ahead and retrieve the recipe. Oh, I just noticed! It's crossed out as failed. Persuade Ned out to stop drinking. Yep. Like I said, I want to get to the, the bottom of it. Why is he drinking? What is causing him to drink? I'm probably looking too much into it, but hey, what if there's another way to solve it? What if there's another solution to this? Because we're just giving him a placebo effect. He's still going to think he's drunk. Right? He's gonna just sit there going, man, I'm so drunk, look at me. And everyone's gonna look and go... No, we know he's not drunk, but he's just convinced of it. It's not going to make his attitude any better. He's not going to be a better person for it. Oh, well. I'll just do what I'm told. I'll stop questioning things. All right. Bandit Tower, here we come. Hi there, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not that much of a surprise. Oh, everyone's up there. Nope, never mind. Nope, okay. No, that's... That's Tyrek. Never mind. Oh, you okay there, Tyrek? You having some trouble there? Ooh, alright. Tyrek, come on. Two against one. I believe in you. I believe in you, Tyrek. They don't even care that I'm here. You... You sure about that? Ooh! Oh, wait, whoa, wait! Wait! Oh, no, that's not Tyrek. Never mind. Okay, I'm sorry. They both look the same. That sounds racist, but it's not, I swear. They look very, very similar from this... Well, from a distance. I consider this a distance. 
You're almost there. Oh, come on. Ooh. All right. And just for that, I will take out the last bandit up here. That'll be my responsibility in all of this. Oh, there you are. Victory is yours. worked up a sweat. <laughs> Victory is mine? It is. I agree. Oh, good. A gentleman's guide to Whiterun. This is the, the bandits are just sitting around reading it going, Oh, man. One day, I'm gonna get out of here. One day, I'm gonna go... All the way... To Whiterun. That's the dream. Going to Whiterun. Alright, well, let's head back to... Alberton first, and then we can get the potion, and then we can go back to Florin. Did you need something? Yep, here is the partnership agreement. Now hand over the potion. Ah, I knew you could do it. Now, don't be hasty. What? There's just one more small favor I need you to do for me. What? No, I've had enough of this. You promised the potion, now hand it over. All right, here it is. I guess I could do it myself anyway. Thank you, my friend. I hope it didn't take up too much of your time. Uh-huh. You know, this is what I like I how he just for. looks angry Exploring at me now. Caves, the wilderness, and killing stuff. You're just looking at me like, what, you're not going to do my favor? Ugh, how dare you? It's just a small favor. It's not going to take too much of your time. And now... <laughs> now back to Florin. Again.